all right what is up y'all today is september 5th and uh man i had a dolly schedule today uh at 10 o'clock it was gonna pay 105 dollars to move a couple boxes a very short distance less than a mile um that order got canceled last minute so the customer had to cancel uh, i guess uh the location the pickup location was good to go it was the drop off location the customer doesn't have access to it so they had to cancel so anyways i was excited about it because i was working with a female it was my first time working with a female doing dolly and um like i said I, I don't see a lot of females out here doing that uh this type of work and i wish there were more so i definitely will have a lot of questions for her to see um well actually long story short i ended up talking to her because you know the cancellation um you know i had to let her know hey it's getting canceled all that stuff but I was able to talk to her on the phone and I found out that she actually is an independent contractor and she's looking to get, you know, more work, uh, more consistent work. So, um, like I said, I'm trying to learn to see what, what type of work she's doing. She actually did mention how she, she is a little intimidated by some jobs. Um, she wants to get a box truck. She actually wants to get a box truck. She wants to rent one first. And then, uh, I was telling her how Dolly has, like i think dolly would be great for a box truck because they have a lot of refrigerators and i can't do refrigerators because they're too tall so um i was telling her you know definitely get one with a lift gate um and uh you know if you get the right dolly you could definitely do it so anyways i'm in contact with her she might even help me on some of my side jobs so um you know i'm all about helping uh independent contractors we could all help each other out. Uh, she needs work. If I get a two person job, that's just another person I could call when I need a second hand. So anyways, uh, it got canceled. We didn't even get half. I didn't even go in route, so I don't mind. They gave me uh, $27. It was supposed to be 105. I, I wasn't supposed to get anything, so I'll take it. Um, so anyways, that kind of messed up my day. Um, I had a delivered. I could have took yesterday if I knew this was gonna happen. So I missed out on some money um but i did get a chance to go to my care company i picked up my check i am breaking that down it's not gonna be in this video but my very next video which should be tomorrow uh, i'm gonna break it down and tell you exactly how much i got paid rate uh the rate everything um with my carrier company and then uh what else did we do oh so i decided you know we got i got a late start that job was supposed to be at 10. i just took the day off uh me and my wife we went to starbucks just kind of, you know, enjoyed each other's company. And then uh, she helped me wash my van. So I took my van to the car wash and uh, got that thing cleaned up. Uh, I'm sure you saw my windows was dirty. My, my van was filthy. I haven't cleaned the inside out yet though. So um, I'll probably do that either sometime this week. I'm gonna clean the inside out. So anyways, man, I decided to do something a little different today. Um, I know I'm horrible with responding to comments. I apologize for that. Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, it feels like it's just not enough time in the day. So I used to have, when I first started YouTube, uh, I would get an alert every time someone writes a comment and then I could you know, pretty much respond right away. Well, as the channel grew, I got more and more comments and my phone was just going crazy. So it, it's constantly going off with YouTube. Uh, I have multiple gig apps, uh, I get emails, text messages. So I had to shut off the notifications on YouTube um, because like I said, my phone was just, non-stop going off so it, it's i got behind i usually i try to wait till like right before i go to bed i'll try to you know respond to a lot of comments but um it's really hard so apologize for that but uh today i want to do something different man i just wanted to kind of go through some of the comments on video and just kind of respond to them right here on the video so that's what i'm gonna do right now all right y'all so i'm just sharing my uh screen with you um and i'm about to go through these comments uh, so the ones I respond to, uh, I'm just probably gonna give like a thumbs up to it. Uh, if I, um, I'm not gonna go through every single one of them cause you know, it's a lot of them. I'm way behind, but just wanna do something different, man. I'm gonna respond right here on video. So, uh, this is as of today, uh, September 5th and it's about, uh, almost 1.30 my central time. So, uh, first one, uh, CJ, what kind of van you have? I just like to buy like yours. Um, Ford Transit 250 with the medium roof. Um, I love this van. <laughs> it's my favorite. I, I really, honestly, I like both. I like the Sprinter van as well, but 
I don't know, man. It's just the way this this van looks, the way it drives. Uh, it's got some get up too. I just love it. Ford Transit 250, medium roof. Uh, you can pretty much do anything in it. You can run, you know, you carry big loads, little loads, local, expediting, all that. I love it. <laughs> uh, keep that grind going. Your passion is inspiring thousands of people. Thank you. Appreciate that. That's good, man. That's that's the whole goal of this channel. Like, I just want to be an inspiration. Uh, I'm not trying to impress nobody. Not trying to show off, nothing like that. This When I first started, this is what I was looking for. I was looking for a channel where I could kind of see, you know, what it looks like. Because you really, a lot of this stuff, you got to learn on your own. It's a lot of things you pretty much got to learn on your own. And without YouTube, I don't know how I would have did it. Like, YouTube helped me so much. So, I'm glad I could help. Um, uh, yeah, ASAP, direct, same day. That's all broker talk. Broker talk, yep. <laughs> True that, uh, I downloaded the new uh, the new freight app as well, but I ended up going back to the old app because it uh, don't give you all the dimensions. Uh, I think example, 17 feet, 500 pounds. I'm hopefully that fixed that. Some of y'all, man, y'all need to double check y'all uh, comments. There's a couple comments I'll read and I honestly, I'll just like, I don't understand it. Like if I give you a thumbs up, I usually like to write something. If I just give you a thumbs up, it's because I probably don't understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> I know what you mean most of the time, but uh, y'all need to double check y'all stuff. But I'm just playing. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, absolutely right. I actually, I've been trying the new app Freight and it, I don't like it. I haven't even seen what the order looks like on it. So I ended up logging out and i put the old app back on there and i started getting ordered so i don't know if they just haven't switched over yet or i don't know what's going on with it but apparently i guess they do show loads i haven't seen a load on the new app yet i don't even know what it looks like but uh i'm sticking with the old one right now until i hear otherwise uh cj looking like isaiah thomas with that head <laughs> that headband on let me talk about my headband man Isaiah Thomas. I don't look like him. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, you talk. So that's referring to. Uh, so that's referring to. Oh, this video. Uh, the Task Rabbit. That, I think that was my last video. The last one I posted. Uh, let's go. That's right. Mr. Billy Bathgate 5. Always. Always pumping me up. That's all you gotta say. Let's go. I already know you, uh, you. You hyped up. You pumped up. Let's get it. I like that. Appreciate that. Uh, how did the tax consultant that you received? Oh, so yes, I do have an update on that. So I told you guys about Duns and Bradstreet. Uh, you get a free consultation for thirty minutes with a tax um, a tax consultant. Um, I got more information on that. So I have a, a meeting on the 15th of this month, September 15th. After that meeting, because I still got a little more information to learn, because I don't want I want to give you guys all the, the correct info. Uh, but very important. I will get to that. So that's coming the video right after the 15th. I'll be posting about that. Um, Big CJ, keep grinding, bold letters. Keep grinding, keep going more blessings to come into your life and your business appreciate that always positive from a brave heart thank you my guy Cantrell always positive um uh, I'll turn this out there we go yeah slow down bro give yourself a full year and put as much money to the side as possible write down investments you're wanting to to get into uh, get into and uh, save, save, save. Absolutely. Get your website set up first and slowly build. Don't try to do everything fast. You are absolutely right. I was thinking about that too. Absolutely right. And that's a great tip. These are the type of comments that uh, that help me. <laughs> you know, um, it's nice to hear that from someone else, especially someone that's doing the same thing I'm doing. Um, I know Cantrell makes he makes money. I think I think he in a box truck business, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, 
appreciate that man uh you're absolutely right i definitely will slow down and save that's another thing i'm gonna tell y'all man i'm learning your first year in business don't worry about the money like you need to focus on saving and getting everything in order like being organized um i'll give y'all more info on that after the 15th i got a lot of info on that but uh definitely i'm about to slow it down you're right appreciate that uh really love your content been popping up on my recommended a lot lately i'm trying to find a side hustle myself i have a job where i do 312s oh that's good a week and four days off getting bored <laughs> getting boring <laughs> man that's an awesome schedule now that see when i had a nine to five if i had a job that was three you know three twelves three days on four days off at least get one or two weekends off that's pretty good actually uh i don't know if you guys heard of this company called centos uh they do like uniforms and stuff and they change out the the mats and stuff at stores uh i had applied for that job and i pretty much got hired like i went through like four interviews and then they just stopped calling me uh, but they had a 410 schedule. You work four days a week, three days off. Um, so two weekend days off and you'll work, you'll be off either Friday or Monday. Um, that's not bad. You know, I, I, I think a job like that, especially 312s, that's awesome to have four days off. All right, my fault, y'all had to move. My camera was getting hot. <laughs> so uh, this little go, I like my GoPro, but that thing be getting hot. Uh, so what I leave off? Oh, uh, yeah, the, my guy with the four days off. Uh, absolutely, look into this, man. It's uh, it's you could do it as a side hustle or your main main job. It don't matter. Um, let's see. Uh, do you have to have a parking garage for your van when you are done for the day? Uh, if I don't have a home, but only an apartment. Oh, absolutely. You could park it anywhere. Uh, I, I don't know apartment rules. I know some apartments, you can only have a certain amount of vehicles. Um, but yeah, I see uh, cargo vans in apartment parking lots all the time. So um, no special requirement for parking. Uh, I see them everywhere. You could park it on the street if you have a house. And it's like I park mine in my driveway, but you can park it on the street, the driveway. Uh, or if you live in an apartment, definitely you could park park there. You probably got to register with your apartment though, but uh, no special parking. Um, I'm tempted to do Amazon FBA. Any advice? Uh, don't do it. <laughs> uh, nah, man. Um, I learned a lot. Uh, I'm going to say. The best tip I could give you that I learned when I was doing my research is your very first product. You want to make sure it is um, something that costs like a dollar, maybe two dollars tops. So something that you could buy wholesale for a dollar or two dollars. And, um, and it's something that you could sell on Amazon for like ten dollars, like ten to twelve dollars. That's advice that I wrote down. I think it's very important. Um, don't get anything expensive. Start with something really cheap. You could buy a large quantity, something that costs a dollar to two dollars. And then, you know, because your profit after all your fees and everything, you'll probably make about two to three dollars per sale for each item you sell. Uh, the other thing that I uh, wrote down that was very important, I think is important is um, when you uh, are looking for your product, what to sell, don't think about like don't don't guess what people are gonna buy. Like, don't try to guess what you think will sell. Uh, that's not a good formula. So I've learned that a lot of people do that. That's a lot of people fail. Like, there's things that I think of, like, oh man, I know if I if I sell this, I know people gonna buy it. Don't think like that. You gotta, some, there's uh, some tools I think are free, but a lot of them you have to pay for, but it's worth it. You wanna get a tool or something that will show you what is actually selling. It'll show you the analytics. So you want to see what is selling. What is the top sellers? That's what you want to go for. Um, you'll be surprised at the stuff that people are buying. So definitely uh, don't try to guess what you think will sell. Go with what is actually selling. So those are the two main things that I learned. I passed that tip on. Uh, since I'm not doing Amazon FBA, I'm going to tell you what my product was. 
So the product that I chose, I did a lot of research on it, was a pacifier, okay? A baby pacifier. Um, everybody has babies all the time. Babies born all the time. Them babies need pacifier. Uh, I thought about a bottle too, but uh, the pacifier, I found uh, wholesale, they were about 58 cents, uh, the one I wanted. And uh, you can custom design them and you could even write something on it, like you something unique. Uh, I think they charge like an extra 25 cents. So it was under a dollar. It was like 78 cents uh, to purchase those. They were selling on Amazon between eight to $12, somewhere around there. So I think it was a good product. I don't know if it would have sold or not, but um, yeah, man, it's still like, I might try it later on in the future, but right now for my very first investment, I want to feel comfortable. Like I want to, I want it to be something that I'm really, you know, excited about and I think it's going to work. So I'm too nervous with the Amazon. So anyway, that's the best advice I can give you. Uh, great video, man. Got my van in the works and getting everything set up. Uh, hoping to stay local and make some friends along the way. But if I have to drive, I will for that money. Uh, my car is currently down, so I'm going to make the most of this van with many different ways. Great attitude. Absolutely. Do what you got to do. If you got to drive long distance, do what you got to do. Local, whatever. So this is somebody that's probably going to be successful because they understand. They want to do it. And... You know, they're going to do what they got to do to make that money and make friends. Absolutely. You want to network as much as you can. Um, great video. 250 in a short time is good money. Okay. Yeah. That's referring to the Task Rabbit video. Task Rabbit. I said Task Rabbit. Task Rabbit video. Yes. Uh, Fernando. Always positive. Appreciate you. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, Matthews on the go. Got a question for you, broski. <laughs> I'm looking into uh, vans now, and I want to know about gas mileage, about how many miles per gallon with your van. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think mine it's either like 18 or 19 miles per gallon. Um, I know on a full tank, I could go about 400, I don't know, like 405 to 412 uh, miles, something like that. So, um, looks like we got a reply to that one. Um, bro, if you go to his past videos, when he go over the specs of his van, it will let you know about uh, it will let you know I'm about to revisit them. I'm about to be on the same page as you, bro, 100. Cool, appreciate that. And that's, you know what, I'm glad this person did that because um, that would definitely help me a lot. Uh, a lot of you guys that are experienced, when you see a question that you can answer, you have my permission to answer it. Um, I know they're asking it to me or whatever, but I mean, this is an open platform, so. If you got the answer, that'll definitely help me out a lot. Um, and then also new subscribers. I know a lot of people will watch one video, they subscribe, and then they start asking questions. And I have the answer to a lot of those questions in previous videos, but I know people are not going to go back and watch my earlier videos. So I get it because I do the same thing. But um, but definitely, yeah. Appreciate uh, Marcus Mill. Appreciate you, man, for... Uh, chiming in on that uh, where are your DOT numbers um, oh you talking about like on my vehicle I'm assuming uh, I don't put mine on my vehicle uh, you're not required to you don't have to um, you actually don't even need a DOT for uh, the gig apps but um, yeah I know a lot of people put their DOT and MC number uh, but you don't have to do that uh, at least for my situation, I don't. So to answer that question, I, I don't. I don't post it anywhere. Um, you don't count the miles you have to return home. Uh, so with that question, um, 
I do take that in consideration. So I'm not using like low boards or nothing like that. And I'm not traveling interstate. So like, you know, obviously if I was going interstate, definitely you want to account for your know, return, your deadhead miles. Um, me personally, if I was doing long hauls out of state, uh, I want to get something back. So you want to take something up and try to get something back or at least as close to home as possible. Uh, for gig apps though, it kind of like, it's just, you just gotta, it's a one way. They don't do, they don't account for deadheads. So you get paid, whatever the rate is, $2 a mile, $1 a mile, whatever. That's just what it is. And you got a deadhead back. So, um, for, um, yeah, that's the best I can answer that. Let me see. Hey CJ, I have an opportunity to start doing this with my own van but have no clue where to start getting jobs. Can you help? I'm in Houston. Um, well, I mean, watch my videos. <laughs> That's the best way. Uh, watch videos, my videos. It's uh, so many YouTube videos. Um, really, uh, and when you say to start your, with my own van, I'm assuming, are you talking about like just getting jobs? only or a business i'm assuming um, just getting work so as an independent contractor you you don't need a business llc nothing like that uh just regular insurance um sign up for gig apps dispatch go share freight dolly simpex task rabbit uh curry roadie like just sign up for everything everything you can um that's going to increase your chances of getting work um, I don't know if you're talking about a van. You said, I happen to start getting, doing this with my own van. Um, when you say your own van, I don't know if you're talking about like your personal vehicle, like a, SU, like a, a minivan, or you talking about a cargo van. But um, if you're talking about a cargo van, definitely uh, try to get on with a carrier. Um, it depends on if you wanna stay local, do long distance. Um, that low board, one, two, three low board. It's so many low boards. You just really got to do your research and just um, sign up for everything. Try everything. Uh, there's no rules to this game. You know, the object of the game is to, to, to load your van up with something. So uh, that's all you got to do. Uh, let me see, Nola. CJ, man, don't worry about the hater just do you everybody don't need to know how much you make us black people gotta stop pocket watch yeah we don't see bill gate and jeff benzo hating oh that's bill gate and uh jeff um amazon ceo hating on each other because one making more so do you king i like how you moving can't wait to start my cargo thing absolutely right you're right i do not have to share any information um to be honest with you haters to me i don't mind them i just i like i respond to them because sometimes i feel like i try to think like a hater because i'm not a hater but i try to think like one and i'm like why would i post negative comment if i'm doing the exact same type of work why would i post something negative on somebody else that's doing the same thing i'm doing so the only thing I could think of when I try to think like a hater is either they're scared, they can't do this, they want to do it, but they can't. You know, they either they doing nine to five, they punching the clock every day, so they might envy me a little bit. Or like I said, they scared to do what I'm doing. Or um, really, that's the only thing I can think of. There's no other reason to hate on somebody other than you just can't do what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know if it's true what they tell me. Oh, I'm making eight thousand dollars. Somebody said they make eight thousand dollars a week or something like that. I, I, it's hard to believe that. But I would love for them to post a video and show us what you know how they do it. <laughs> that would be great. But um, yeah, I only respond because, like I said, a lot of people hide behind the the YouTube uh, profile and they put their fear out. To me, when I get a message from a hater, to me it looked like fear. To me, that's what it seemed like because that's the only thing that makes sense to me. So. When I look at it from that point, it's like maybe this person is screaming for help. They don't know how to ask for it, so they want to insult. But I'm going to help you too. Haters too. You can take notes and learn what you can.
But uh, I get what you're saying. Absolutely right. I don't have to do all that, but I don't mind. It's all good. Um, I enjoy your videos and the fact it's important to you to be with your family. Some people just aren't happy unless they are criticizing someone. That's true. Uh, I'm glad you blocked them. Keep the videos coming for the rest of us. Absolutely. You're right. And I will continue to block anything that's not helpful to me or the channel. It's going to get blocked. There's no reason for it. Uh, I don't mind criticism, but, you know, it's a respectful way to do it. And then it's another, you know, I just, I like to keep it professional. Keep it professional and uh, appreciate the support. I say about not, over 90% of y'all are very supportive and I appreciate that. Uh, my guy, Fernando, again, always something good to say. Uh, CJ, I've been watching your videos for a while. You're a good guy, so when someone talks crap about you not making much ticks, uh, oh, not making much ticks me off. <laughs> Uh, I started around the same time you did, uh, got the same Ford Transit 250, okay? You, uh, you have also lived in the great state of Texas, yes it is, and was born in SoCal. Uh, I stay local just like you and make over 8K a month, so I know you can do it uh, if you want it, absolutely. I've never told anyone how much I made before, but just hearing others hating on you, it's not cool. You're a good family man. Keep uh, talking about God as he will continue blessing you on your journey, my brother in Christ. Hey man, that's deep right there. I appreciate that. That's like, that's real. Like, you know, you can tell when people write stuff like this, that's real. They're not just writing it. Um, I appreciate that. And you under you obviously some people get it, some people don't. The people that get it know money is not driving me. That's not what's driving me right now. It's I'm getting my family time and I'm doing what I love. And you know, the money will come. I'm not worried about that. I make plenty of money. If I wanted, if I needed to make whatever amount of money, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do what I need to do to make money, you know. If I knew if I started expediting right now. And I, I'm like, you know what? I need to make $10,000 a month. If I have to expedite to do that, I'm gonna do it. Like, you know, that's just, the family gonna have to take that sacrifice, but that's not what it's about. So I got my priorities. I'm gonna keep it that way. And I've been blessed to be able to stay local, work pretty much part-time and make the money I need. I'm good. Appreciate that though, Fernando. That's deep right there. Um, this said it all. Me and my dad uh, about about to get our first van for business. We're excited for all the opportunities to uh, come. Depending how this goes, we will evolve to two trucks. There you go. Uh, loving the videos helps a lot. Loving the videos helps a lot to understand the process and vibe. Keep it up, bro. Hey. I like that. So I actually watched a guy on YouTube when I was starting off, him and his dad. His dad bought the van as the investment and the son was the driver. It didn't work out for them. Y'all might be familiar with that channel. Uh, I don't think he's on the YouTube anymore, but um, yeah, the dad bought the van. I think it was a Pro Master. The son went expediting. It did not work out. So it's not for everyone, but definitely great idea. Um, get Pops to invest for you. You be the driver, um, family business, that's great. Uh, wish you the best, man. Uh, I'm just gonna read a few more, I won't make this too long. Uh, you and them are totally different. As you said, different strokes for different folks. It is what it is. God and family first, all other things will be given to us. Absolutely, I agree with that 100%. <laughs> Gotta keep God number one. Nothing is possible without him. I, I realize that and I have to, I'm not afraid to acknowledge it. Some people are afraid to, but I'm not, I'm not turning my back on God, man. Appreciate that, uh, John Suggs, 2344. Oh, we got a reply on that one. Oh, he said, working on getting my ducks all in row, in row in VA. Okay, planning my insurance, brother. Cool, VA like Virginia, I'm assuming. The VA, cool. Absolutely, do your thing. 
Take your time. Uh, what's the name of the app you're using? So for this video, heavy loads today, that's probably Dispatch. I think I got that load on Dispatch. So Dispatch or Dispatch It. Uh, you can Google it or download it on the Play Store or Apple Store. Uh, crazy how you guys run all these gig apps just to wait for a paycheck. Uh, you guys have to run multiple routes throughout the day just to make some money. <laughs> what? Why buy a cargo van for all oh, this? Uh, it's a hater message. Here we go. One live and live and <laughs> in effect. Uh, why buy a cargo van for that? So this is this a person that doesn't have a cargo van? I'm assuming. Cargo vans are made to make seven to eight thousand a week, not one to three thousand. And where did you get that information from? Cargo van is made to make whatever you want. That was a freight order coming through. Uh, cargo vans are made to make whatever you want it to make. Um, if you can't figure it out, why did you buy the van to make this little money and work your A off to wait for a paycheck? What are you talking about? I get the money on a daily basis. I don't need to wait for nobody to hand me a paycheck. I'm a boss happy for you don't take it in the wrong way but i can mentor oh here we go with a mentor <laughs> mentor you in the right direction i guarantee you will stop doing what you're doing and get the real bag in the cargo van so this person obviously does not know my channel what i'm about i am not about the money don't care about it right now i'm good with my thousand to three thousand a week if you make, I think this is the, I had read this comment before when it first came out. That's what I was saying. Somebody said they make seven to 8,000 a week. In a cargo van? Man, you gotta post something, bro. Post at least a short video, something. Show us something, just so we can get a taste of, of, of how you do that. But uh, again, appreciate the comment. I'm not, you know, that stuff, this don't bother me uh, because there's no rules to this. You do whatever you want, you know, whatever makes you happy. Uh, there's no nothing says that a cargo van has to make seven to eight thousand dollars a week. There's I don't know where that information came from, but you make what you want. Uh, somebody on my channel, I think in California, they got a. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Somebody. Uh, what was that at? No, that was here in Texas. That was here in Texas. He uh, started a uh, detail car detailing with a cargo van. Um, I seen a pup like dog washing where you come, the people come to your house and wash a dog, cargo van. Uh, everybody make different amounts of money. Everybody do what they love. The vehicle itself is the investment. There's no cap on how much you can make. There's no rules. Of, oh, you have to make 7,000, 8,000 because you bought a cargo van. So, I, so this, this is nonsense. This is someone I would never be mentored by. So, uh, no offense, but you can't help me I'm sorry I'm good uh, but there is somebody in California that started their uh, car detail I remember I read a comment about that I don't know if they bought a van but they just they were motivated to start their own business car detailing shout out to you whoever you were I forgot who you were but absolutely that's what it's about uh, blessings you doing a great job appreciate that thank you uh, definitely learning from your testimony, CJ. I'm just starting my business with pretty much your blueprint. Uh, which apps was it you requested more pay? I forgot why, and they pay more for the, oh, that you're talking about Dolly. That was Dolly, D-O-L-L-Y, Dolly. Um, that one got canceled on me. They canceled the job, and uh, I was supposed to get half. Uh, the original, amount was 177 I think or I forgot how much it was it was a hundred and something dollars um, but anyways that's that's the, the app to answer your question uh, let me see I don't know why folks are tripping about how you're prioritized God and your family over everything else 
my husband and I enjoy your content and you have inspired us. Love how you take the time to spend with your wife and kids. Keep winning. Thank you. I don't understand it either. I don't understand it, but you know what? I was prepared for that. When I started this channel, I knew there was going to be those people. Somebody, you can't please everybody. Somebody always going to have something to say, but it's all good. I'm happy. That's all that matter. All that matter. But uh, appreciate the support. Thank you very much. You and your husband. Uh, let me just read two more because this video is getting way too long. So with the expenses, you stated insurance is included, correct? And what about vehicle depreciation? Are you taking that into account? What about taxes? Are you uh, allocating money, monies? Uh, for taxes that you will need to pay as an independent contractor continue success with your business big CJ these are great questions because these are the main things that like, everyone worries about getting started expenses so I have a huge advantage over people so my insurance and my vehicle loan is paid through passive income. So I don't have to pay any money out of pocket. I used to have to pay $200 out of pocket. My uh, benefits for the military has increased so that my the passive income I get every month, it pays my vehicle loan as well as my insurance. And I still have money left over. So that's a huge advantage that I have. So that's how I account for that. Uh, vehicle depreciation, not really worried about that. I mean, my van is pretty new. It's a 2020. It's in great shape. It's only got like 35,000 miles on it now. I've only drove like 15,000 miles since I had it. And I bought it in December of 2022. Um, are you taking into account, uh, what about tax? So taxes, I, as a veteran here in Texas, I don't know about other states, but here in Texas, you can uh, get tax exempt for the first five years. If it's 100% veteran owned, you're tax exempt for the first five years. I'm not 100% 100% sure how that works yet. I'll find out when I do my taxes. That's a very important question, which I'm going to address in the next uh, next two weeks uh, about specifically about taxes, because that's something else that um, you got to deal with as a business owner um, and then as an independent contractor as well. But so, like I said, I have an advantage with that because I am a veteran and I did uh, qualify for the tax exemption first five years. Um, so yeah, hopefully that answered your question. And one more, I have signed up with Rody, but not understanding how to navigate it. Watch videos, but mine looks different. I don't have Rody. I've been trying to get on Rody since I started. Still can't get on. I've been on the waiting list forever for like five months. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get on. So unfortunately can't help you on that one. Uh, sorry, let me just see these other two. Mention God every day, Big CJ. Absolutely. I acknowledge him every day. Big CJ, you don't need to explain anything to anyone about your personal. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. All right, man. I think that's it. Um, this video way too long, but I just want to do something a little different. Uh, the rest of the comments, I will be responding to comments today. Uh, and uh, thank you guys for... The comments, the support, everything. Um, I really feel like a, a business. I'm starting to feel it. Like it's a lot of stuff falling in place. Uh, my custom, my clientele is building. Um, getting more and more clients. Uh, I have two helpers, that uh, two active helpers that I can uh, call when I need. When I have a two-man job, two-person job, and my wife can't help me. I got two people on my 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 payroll <laughs> uh to help me out um so just making moves man just trying to take it one step at a time i'm definitely gonna slow down i think uh i'm trying to do too much too fast because i'm you know i want to show you guys the progress but the progress is gonna come it's gonna come you're gonna see it you're gonna witness it and i just gotta slow it down so anyways uh video long enough uh, I, I plan on posting tomorrow i do not have I don't think I have any jobs lined up. I have a job on Thursday with Dolly. Um, and that's it. So tomorrow, I'm pretty much open for the gig apps. I haven't done like just a, a gig app day in so long. And I like it like that. I like to have pre-scheduled work. So 
Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna have all the gig apps on and let's see what we can do, see what we can get. So other than that, man, appreciate y'all. Have a good day and I will catch y'all on the next one.